Time now for Morning Rounds with CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook and CBS News Contributor Dr. Tara Narula. First up, a statement of caution for patients with heart failure. The American Heart Association warns that many commonly used medications could cause or worsen heart failure for those with the condition. Tara, what kind of medications are we talking about? This is such an important statement, Anthony, both for doctors and for patients living with heart failure. This statement really nicely outlines the prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, and complementary or herbal or supplement medications that might exacerbate heart failure. This is a very vulnerable group of patients. They live in a delicate balance between being compensated and stable and suddenly having the balance tipped to the point where they're decompensated and they end up in the hospital. So they are on multiple medications, many of them up to seven prescription meds, they see multiple providers, and they have lots of other medical conditions. So this is really wonderful that we have this guide out there now. And some of these medications, they exacerbate heart failure in different ways. Some of them do them by actually affecting the myocardial cells and being toxic to them. Some of them cause retention of sodium, which increases fluid retention. Other ones affect how well the heart beats or contracts. And other ones simply affect the ability of the patient's own heart failure medications to work effectively. What really caught my ear, though, was herbal supplements and over-the-counter. I feel yes. like we're all trained to think, oh, these are the okay ones. I can right. take these. Exactly. I spoke to Dr. Robert Page, who's the lead author of this uh, statement, and he's a clinical pharmacologist at the University of Colorado School of Pharmacy, and he really emphasized how important it is to realize that these substances are pharmacologically active. So, for example, he pointed out that antacids have sodium in it. And I went this morning and I looked at, you know, you have to really look to see how much sodium, and in fact, it's in there, and I'm sure they differ one to the other. There's ibuprofen and things like that, these NSAIDs that can cause fluid retention in cold medicines and other kinds of medicines. And then there are decongestants, decongestants like Sudafed and Sudafedrin. They are part of cold medicines and they can have, cause problems with the heart. So you really, then of course, drug herb interactions. Anything that's pharmacologically active can cause a problem, even if it's supposedly an herb. And so I tell my patients, just brown bag it, you know, throw everything in there. Yeah. Let me take a look at exactly what, you, what you're taking. So lots of doctors won't ask and lots of patients won't think to bring it up. So yeah. you really have to make sure to look for those. Tara, as you, as you point out, the heart failure patients can be taking up to s seven different medications. How do you keep track of all this stuff? Right, so I'll, the most important thing that I tell not only my heart failure patients, but all patients, is that they should keep a list on them at all mm -hmm. times of the dose, the medication, and the frequency. They should understand why they're taking what they're taking. And if there's any changes to their medications that are being made, either a med stopping or starting, they should call the doctor managing their heart failure and say, can I stop this? Can I start this? It's helpful to have what the statement calls a captain of your medication ship, somebody who can really oversee everything you're taking. And we need to tell our patients to get in the habit of checking the labels, as John said, not just for salt in our sodium in our cans of soup, but also on our medication labels as well. So, you know, I think there's lots of things we can do as patients to hopefully help this problem. And the, and the doctors have to really, these days, be using a computer. These drug-drug interactions, right. you cannot keep track of them. The computer is good for that. That brown bag is a really good piece of yeah. advice. All your meds, bring them in.